Hello there, my friends. I hope you've had a magical day so far. I know I have, because guess what arrived today? Mm hmm Another story from my friend, Ferguson. If you haven't met Ferguson yet, he's a little wombat with a big personality, and he likes to write me stories about his adventures all across Australia. And I have another one of those stories to read today. Would you like to read it with me? Mm-hmm. If you're one of our new friends, you might not know that last time we met Ferguson, he met a very famous artist called Clifton, and Clifton agreed to paint his portrait, because Ferguson is a very important wombat, and so Ferguson discovered that in order to be an important wombat, he must have a business card, and now we're off to his friend Hooters to ask Hooter if we can make him a business card. Shall we see how he gets along? All right. Ferguson could hardly wait till the next day to go and ask Hooter to make some business cards for him. Hooter, Hooter, he called as he scrambled under the tree trunks. Hooter, where are you? Hoo, hoo, Hooter called back. Here I am. What can I do for you? I want some business cards, please. You see, I'm going, I'm going to be famous and all famous people have business cards. I need someone to write them for me, and you're the only person I know that can write them. Hooter must be a very clever owl. <laughs> Hooter laughed. Oh, what are you going to be famous for? I heard Horace Blowfly telling his friends that you thought you were a bushfly orchestra. But from what Horace was saying, I don't think you could be famous for that. You're supposed to conduct the orchestra. Not yourself, Ooh, he laughed. Well, I will be famous, said Ferguson crossly. And I know that you'll make just have to make me some business cards, and then and then it won't take long at all. Oh, very well, Ferguson, if you think it will help, replied Hooter. So tell me, what do you want me to write on these business cards? Mm, I wonder if Ferguson thought about what should go on the business cards. Shall we find out? Well, started Ferguson, they must have my name on them and some important letters, because all important people have letters after their name. So could you please just put like Ferguson Wombat, Esquire, PHE, famous wombat. Well, I know that many doctors and other clever people have PhDs, but what is a PHE? And how can you be an Esquire? said Hooter. Ooh, those sound like good questions. Any person who owns land can be an esquire, and I have a burrow, said Ferguson. PH is to show that I'm an important wombat. And the E is for extraordinaire, said Ferguson, a little hurt that Hooter didn't seem to know just how important he was. <laughs> it seems like Ferguson has put a lot of thought into what he wants to tell people about himself. If you could put a word after your name, what kind of word would you put? Cheerful? Creative? <gasps> Energetic? <laughs> there are so many lovely things to say about ourselves. But I wonder if you've ever had someone say something not very nice about you and put that after your name. It's not a very nice thing to do, and sometimes people do it without even meaning to. When we hear those kinds of things, what do you say or think? Mm -hmm. It's pretty easy to feel sad about it, isn't it? Or maybe even a little mad. <laughs> Whenever I hear those things in my kingdom, I just try to remember that it's easy to be misunderstood. And I like to say something like, I don't think that's how I meant to be heard. Or even something like, hmm, I don't think of myself that way. I think of myself as cheerful. Or maybe just remind myself that I might have been a bit silly that time, but I'm not silly all the time. I'm usually a creative person or a happy person. <laughs> how we define ourselves, like my friend Ferguson pointed out, is really important and it's affect how we carry ourselves amongst others. Sometimes if we hear lots of negative words and not nice words like extraordinaire, we might not feel very good. If this is happening a lot, it might be a good idea to talk to a friend, like how Ferguson might go and talk to Hooter, or I would talk to my mum and dad. <laughs> if you can think of what nice word you might put after your name, let me know down below. I can't wait to hear them all. <laughs> but otherwise, I'm definitely waiting for Ferguson's next story. Are you? I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.